Hey friends, welcome to my channel and this is the 13th video of Windows Server 2012 step by step tutorial and in this video I am going to show you how to install and configure Windows Server Backup. So let's get started and here is my environment, demo environment. I have two virtual machines. First one is Win2K12 R2 DC01 which is my Active Directory domain controller and DNS server and the second one is Win2K12 SRV01 which is my member server in domain if you want to check out here is my servers on this server DC01 DC01 I have installed Active Directory DNS and DSCP roles so this is my Active Directory server and second server is a, uh, is a uh, SRV01 which is joined in my domain Victor info soul you can verify from your domain name and uh, no roles no features is, in, uh, is installed right now on this server so let's get started and see how to install uh, windows backup so first thing I'm going to install the if you go down and here is windows server backup if you launch from tools windows server backup you can see what's going on so if you click on so backup information this is information local backup if you click on local backup it's showing windows server backup is not installed on computer to install windows server backup from server manager select add role feature so I am going to install backup feature first manage add role and features maximize it click next next under the server selection select our server click next and under the server role we don't need to do anything here just click next under the features if you scroll down reachable down here is the windows server backup just select it from description you can see windows server backup allow you to backup and recover your operating system application and data you can schedule a backup and and protect for entire and specific volume so good and click on install so it will take a few minutes to get the done the installation for windows server backup so you can see starting installation here you can see installation is started on our server name srv01 So in the meantime, I am going to create a one share folder on my DC01, which I am going to use to backup my SRV01 server. So I am going to create one, like under the C drive, I am going to create one folder here, call it server backup. and. I'm going to share this backup share this folder for the backup so under the sharing advanced sharing enable sharing permission I'm going to ins to allow for everyone in the production you need to select the group or, or specify group or users which can access these folders or service account which is going to use on servers so so here you can see installation success on SRV01 in the meantime I'm going to access folder which we have created win2k win2k12 r2 dc01 here is our domain controller name and we have a server folder server backup so we have the path and if you want to map this drive you can also map this drive so I'm going to do one thing I'm going to map this drive map network drive and put here map it with the name you want to put here I'm going to use the Z drive click on finish you can see the drive is mapped now yes so good to go close it uh, close this folder also and just go here and you can do one thing so local backup 
just give some minute few seconds to refresh this screen so you will get the all detail so here we are no backup has been configured for this computer so we can do one thing we can take the backup once if you want here so and if you want to schedule a backup you can schedule a backup so I'm going to schedule a backup so I'm going to use the first option which is backup scheduler so click next and this is going to give you option full server which is recommended to backup the server ideally we have few other options like custom I want to choose custom volume file and backup click next we have option here like just give a few seconds and we add items we have an option like if you want to take a system state backup you can take the system state backup if you want to take the like C drive backup you can select the C drive or drive whatever you want and it, you can also select the bare metal recovery uh, bare metal recovery is something which is not required operating system to be installed for uh, for uh, recovering the backup so I'm going to take the like uh, the first option which is bare metal recovery you can select this one uh, if you go and click full server backup let's see what's going to select let's give you the option for time schedule so I'm going to select like custom here and I have selected the bare metal recovery click next also you can go to advanced setting few advanced setting like VSS copy VSS full full backup copy VSS copy backup these settings you can uh, do some Google and get the idea what these are so leave it um, it's by default VSS copy backup okay click next and you can select the time once a day and you if you want to take a backup more than once a day you can go ahead and select from here so I'm going to select first like I want to back up here like first you can say I want to take a backup of server or in 11 you can say not 11 uh, 6 p.m. And also if you want to add anything else you can add so I'm going to add like 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. two time I need need a backup twice in a day so click next and here is the option backup to a hard drive which is dedicated for backup and backup to up to volume or backup to share folder we have a different different option as per requirement we can select like backup to a volume backup to hard drive that is dedicated for backup recommended and I'm going to use backup to a shared share network folder which we have already created so when you are using a remote share backup the storage is like just like warning we have to check the available space these settings so do one thing uh, you need to put the back full path here so I'm going to browse it here this is, it is paste it and access control inheritance is by default enable click next so this will ask you uh, like administrator username and password for registering backup schedule so I'm going to use server admin and my password for server admin the user account on by which I have logged in my server so click finish it's creating backup schedule so you have successfully created a backup schedule your first schedule will run or will happen at this time 7 p.m. that's like 24 minutes from now so you can scroll down a little bit down and you have last backup status time schedule these things total copy of backup and everything so 
can do this so this is like mm, schedule backup and before this schedule will run at the time of schedule and I'm going to like create a backup once so this will give you option schedule backup option different option so I'm going to run the same schedule which we have created and we have these settings and it will automatically uh, pick up your schedule backup option and the different option if you want to create a different option will give you the full thing about the same but I'm going to run the schedule backup now so it's like something running the schedule backup manually so here you can see creating schedule copy of volumes so it's running the backup and if you want to verify it will take some time then it will create a backup folder removing deleted item it's like doing the pre pre request check before taking the backup so here we are the backup is just started you can see the backup data transferred which has been transferred and we are here we have a folder called called windows image backup and under the windows image backup we have win2k12 or 2 srv01 so it's taking the backup of system recovery folder and here you can see backup is started for os disk which is our c drive basically this drive so it will take some time so I am pausing the recording here once the backup is completed I will be back so the OS disk backup is almost complete just wait for a few more seconds it will execute the backup for system state and finally bare metal so So the all is completed you can close the window and you have the information here backup time message backup description which is completed successfully and below you can see the last backup status successfully time view details you have a detail what we have taken like you can from here you can see this uh, what type of backup was excuse, executed last time so the VSS setting status everything and the data transfer also and the next you can see the schedule and we have a total backup of copy 1 and the last copy oldest copy both uh, sorry latest copy and oldest copy and if you go here you can see here whatever so this is all about the Windows Server Backup, how to configure, install and configure the Windows Server Backup. And thank you for watching. Please subscribe me for more videos. And if you have any question related to this, please, uh, please email me on my given mail ID. And thank you once again. Bye-bye.